Hi everyone, I have a story to share with you today called It's Winter. And the words were written by Linda Glazer and the pictures were made by Susan Swan. Let's read about It's Winter. Oh look, here's the title page. I notice the trees have lost all the leaves, maybe a couple stragglers. The ground and grass is looking a little brown. Hmm, it looks like late fall, maybe early winter. There's some more pictures of those wintry trees. Oh, I chase and zigzag here and there, catching snowflakes in the air. They land on my face and on my hair. I stick out my tongue and catch one. Yum. Oh, it must be winter. It's starting to snow. Look at what she's wearing to keep her body warm. Mittens, a scarf, some earmuffs, a warm jacket. Those are things you need to stay warm. Flakes and flakes and flakes float down, down, down. Some melt, but some stick when they touch the bare ground. I can hardly wait to wake up and see how deep the snow will finally be. Well, it looks like she might be getting ready for bed. It's nighttime, but it, the snow is still falling. wonder what it's gonna look like in the morning. Let's see. <gasps> what? Look at all that snow. Wow. We're all bundled up in warm snow suits with scarves and hats and mittens and boots. The snow's so bright, we have to squint. Like this, squint your eyes so it's so bright. Each step we take, we sink, 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 making deep footprints. Even the doggie's wearing a sweater to stay warm. See their footprints they're making in the snow? It's winter. We make snow angels and build a snowman and a snow lady. They sparkle brightly in the sun. I don't even feel cold. I'm having so much fun. Bare tree branches reach up high, sketching brown tree patterns in the sky. There's a tap, tap, tap. I look up and see a woodpecker pecking at a tree. There's the woodpecker. Here she is making her snow angels. She's laying on the ground and moving her arms and legs, making the snow angel pattern. And there's the snowman and snow lady and the woodpecker. My breath comes out in small white puffs. I trudge in my snow boots going squeak, crunch, crunch. The air's so cold, it freezes the hairs inside my nose. Brrr. Ooh, see the puffs of air? Sometimes you can see your breath when it's cold outside. One day, I get a letter from my grandma and grandpa who live down south in Florida. They say it's hot and sunny. Ooh, that seems strange and funny. Our winters are so different, it's hard to believe. But see, here's a photo of them sunning on the beach. That's true. Lots of our books about winter talk about snow and cold, but not everyone lives where there's snow or where it's cold in the winter. Some places are not cold and snowy, but some are. Meanwhile, here up north, in caves where I can't see, little brown bats are hibernating. Ooh, they don't seem they don't eat or move and they barely breathe. They all huddle together and sleep, sleep, sleep. Shh. A lot of animals hibernate in the winter. They kind of go into a deep sleep and just stay warm and sleep all winter long until it's warm again outside. Inside this hollow tree, there's a honeybee hive. The honeybees hardly seem alive, but they're staying warm by crowding together, 
all taking turns huddled in the center. There are those bees. It's winter. Oh, there are her feet. And there's the snow. Here's underground. This is what would be under her feet. It's winter, way, way down under my feet, turtles and snakes and earthworms are fast asleep. Groundhogs are also curled in sleep. Their hearts go slowly, they barely beat. Chipmunks sleep underground on piles of nuts and seeds. Sometimes they wake up, take a quick snack, and then go back to sleep. Groundhog, and there's some other little critters, maybe worms, and there's the chipmunk and the snake. They're all hibernating. Oh, there's the worm. Ooh, look at this picture. There they are, up on a pond, skating. Here's some ice, and this is under the ice. We skate around on the frozen pond and way under the ice, down in the soft mud, dragonfly nymphs are fast asleep and so are hibernating frogs. The fish are kind of still swimming around slowly. There are the frogs and the dragonfly nymphs that will grow up to be dragonflies. It's winter. But even here up north, not all the animals are asleep. Deer come to eat the tender twigs and bark of trees. Gray squirrels leap from branch and branch, branch to branch and tree to tree. Whee! Every day I scatter bird seed. Then lots of birds swoop down to eat. We get sparrows, cardinals, blue jays, and chickadees. They eat and eat and cheep, cheep, cheep. The sun sets early. The days seem short. Even before dinner, it's already dark. We search the night sky for con winter constellations. Look up there. I see Orion. There it is right here. The moon glows with a soft, creamy light. And ooh, there's a halo around it tonight. I spot a snowshoe hare. Ooh, where's the snowshoe hare? A hare is another word for rabbit. Oh, oh, there it is. I spot a snowshoe hare just sitting there. Its white coat blends in with the snow. But soon, in the spring, its fur will turn brown to blend with the ground. And amazing, some animals change color in the winter to camouflage their body in the snow. One day we notice that some snow is melting. The sun feels stronger. The ground is getting warmer. Soon, very soon, spring will be here. But right now, it's still winter. We slide down smooth and slippery hills. Whee! Watch us go. Oh, I hope we get another snow. It's winter. It's winter. Whoopee for winter. So many fun things to do in the winter. I hope you liked that book about winter. I sure did. I love it when it snows. And I really hope we get some snow this winter to play in. So fun. And, and it looks so beautiful, too. All right, my friends, I will see you soon. Have a good day.